this episode of my Houseplant Care 101 series, I'm going to be repotting my two beautiful Spathophyllum or Peace Lilies. And as many of you know, I have over 200 plants in my collection, in my home, and Peace Lilies are relatively new, newer to my collection, and I'm obsessed. I have to say, they are absolutely incredible plants. Not only are they so, so beautiful, but they're incredibly easy care. They do well in different lighting conditions. I'm just sold. I just love them so much. And you don't hear about peace lilies that often, but I 10 out of 10 recommend them, guys. They're absolutely amazing. One of the interesting things about peace lilies or spathophyllums is they are not actually lilies. They are a tropical perennial, but they're called lilies for the beautiful signature white flowers that we all know and love so well. And the flowers, you know, they represent a flag of peace. I'm going to be potting both of these up in soil today and I have the repotme.com peace lily soil here and they are partnering up with me on this episode and uh, my houseplant care 101 series they've been partnering with me on. They provide a lot of different plant care products. A few of my personal favorites are their different soils that they have for houseplants on their website because they have tailor-made and custom-made different soils for different plant varieties and there are a lot of options so I'm not going to name them all. I know they have philodendron and monstera, cacti succulent, uh, African violet. I mean there are a lot of different uh, soil options there that are tailor-made. I also really like their fertilizer. A lot of people ask me um, what kind of fertilizer I like. I do like a lot of different kinds and uh, theirs is one of them which is the feed me fertilizer. And I always rave about their great slotted orchid pots. They're brilliant, they're clear so I can see how the roots are doing on my plants. And they also have a ton of drainage that helps promote not only drainage but airflow to the roots. So those are some of my favorite products on their website, but I do recommend checking them out. Um, they are brilliant. And use code Ashley for 10% off any of their amazing potting soils. I've included their website in my description below so you can take a look at their quality plant care products. Ready to jump into it here. My first plant is a domino peace lily that I found at a specialty nursery called King's Greenhouse here in Charlotte. But I have found a domino peace lily at big box shops before and they can be found around. So I do 10 out of 10 recommend a domino peace lily. I have to say this plant is amazing. It grows so well for me. It lets me know when it's thirsty because the leaves start to droop. So I just don't even pay attention to it until the leaves start to droop and then I water it. Such an amazing plant. Now, a domino peace lily is very interesting because the leaves are slightly different than some other peace lilies. As I said, there are a lot of different varieties of peace lilies. So this one has a really cool like texture to the leaves. As you can see, it's kind of, I don't know, crinkly. And then it has the gorgeous shape to them. It has the dark green on the leaves. And then, of course, it has the beautiful white variegation. This one has grown so much since I got it and I found this bath of island domino six inch. It was $19.99 from King's Greenhouse and when I say this plant blooms like crazy I mean it really blooms like crazy. It has I mean it has about 10 blooms on it right now so I'll share what I've been doing. I don't think I'm doing anything super special but I don't know if it's a domino peacefully thing but this plant blooms like crazy for me. As I said, it's very easy care. Uh, it grows like crazy. So I'm excited to repot it because it's been getting thirsty really fast. As I said, it's had a burst of new growth. We're in March now and that's coming into springtime here in Charlotte. Uh, spring comes early for us so it's a really good time to repot up this plant coming into the growing season. It usually lasts about three or four days and then it gets thirsty again and peace lilies don't want to be necessarily thirsty all the time. They they like to have a good drink and this one is a thirsty plant. So I need to size up on the pot for this one. I have it right now in this cool basket that I found I think at Ross for $15 or something great find but I have a saucer inside and I just kind of have it like this and then I bought it put water in this and then the plant soaks it up which is nice for a peace lily because then it really gives it an opportunity to drink up a lot of water so that I don't have to water it as often. I have done a houseplant care video on bottom watering and top watering the benefits of both that I'll include here 
if you're interested in learning more about bottom and top watering. The other peace lily that I have is actually one that I imported from Green Spaces ID. They were very generous and sent some plants in addition to some that I purchased myself. And when they arrived, I just put them in some water and they have been in water for a long time now. It's been probably a month and something. To be honest, I've been busy. I haven't had time to repot it. So I have some cool plants in here. I have a uh, black velvet alocasia. I have an aglionema pictum tricolor. And then I have a beautiful variegated spathophyllum. The exact variety and species isn't, uh, isn't listed on the website, but it's beautiful. I love these leaves, um, the variegated color of them, the green, you know, it's doing really well. It's putting out some new growth. Aglionema is putting out a ton of new growth. I have to say it is loving living in water. So I might keep the Aglionema in water. Like, look at this. It's pushing off shoot after shoot after shoot. So Aglaonema might be, this is a new leaf, it might be staying in water. But the peace lily's ready for some soil. I think the first one I'm going to do is this peace lily. Aren't those roots amazing? I had ordered about 11 plants from uh, Green Spaces ID and most of them have really thrived. So I'll do a video updating everybody on how they're doing. Now, the interesting thing with peace lilies is that you propagate them from the roots usually. I just set up this little tarp that I have and it actually has little things folded out so it catches um, any kind of excess soil. I have got it from Amazon and any of the products that I'm using today, I'll list them in my description below for you guys. And I just realized that these are definitely too big. I'm gonna grab a smaller one from my closet. Okay, ah, that one will work. <laughs> awesome. I'm gonna wash this out. I will say that if you are ever reusing a planter, always wash and sanitize it um, with soap because you don't want any bacteria or pests that may have been on the other plant to transfer to your other one. Look how cute this little orchid pot is, I'm obsessed. Anyways, this is the perfect size. Now you typically want to go to one to two sizes if it's already in a planter, but in this case, it wasn't in a planter, it was in water. You just want to make sure that there is some room for the roots to expand out to and grow, but not too much room that the soil will become waterlogged and saturate the, the roots with water and suffocate it. And there are some, just a couple like brown dead roots here. Uh, if you can see there's a few up around the top so i'm just trimming those off really quick now i hear regularly that peace lilies like to have moist soil and i think that's kind of a dangerous way to think about it because they're just like any other tropical plant in that they are susceptible to root rot if their roots are left sitting in an overly saturated soil for any period of time because they can be prone to suffocation so again they're going to need a well-draining soil just like any other tropical plant. Now you can easily mix up your own soil, use like a regular potting mix and then you can mix in some different perlite uh, or pumice or something just to make sure that the soil has the option to be well-draining. There's all sorts of great substrates and mediums out there that you can mix into your soil. This one I like because it already has it all mixed in and it does have the option for the soil to retain enough moisture but then drain the rest out so that it's not going to cause root rot to the plant especially since this peace lily specifically has been in water and it has water roots which are different than soil roots so it's going to have an adjustment period so it's very important that this one even though it's been in water it doesn't sit in saturated soil. I'm going to just put in a small layer on the bottom here. The soil is so great, look at that. Put that there. This even has charcoal in it, which helps prevent against um, fungus and bacteria. It's nice. I think when you hear, oh, peace lilies, don't like to be dried out, they like a moist soil. It's not that they like the soil to be saturated or wet, it's that the, the, the leaves will droop when they get thirsty. 
they don't mind the soil being well draining or anything they just don't want it to be dried for an extended period of time but like I said they will kind of let you know oh yeah that's good now I'm going to need to find a cash pot for this guy look at that he's gonna be so happy in his new home I've made a mess <laughs> that's part of the fun all right, let me find a cash pot really quick. Go into my handy dandy closet. There are a lot of neat ones on repotme.com. These are just some different ones that I've thrifted. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? And it fits perfectly. I don't know, it might be too small. That looks kind of cool. No. no. I also have this neat one that I thrifted. I could put that in there and then like put another like tiny plant there. You know, that's the nice thing about using these nursery pots is that I'll change it around. Like I'll have it in this one for a little while and then I'll switch it to this one for a little while. You know, that's the nice thing about these. I'm not going to fertilize this right off the bat. I'm just gonna let it get acclimated to its new pot before I fertilize it and my first time watering, I like to water from the top because it helps the plant to kind of get settled in. Let me dump this water out and sanitize my shears. Next up is my beautiful Domino Peace Lily that I am also in love with. I'm hoping my other, my variegated Spathophyllum is anywhere near as amazing as my Domino Peace Lily. I, like you can see, I have a million blooms and this guy has been thirsty. So let me see what pot will work. I think that's too close to size. And this one will work. Oh yeah, you're gonna love this pot. It's important, it's good to go one to two inches bigger. Um, again, you don't want it to be so big that it's just sitting in water. There we go. Yeah. So the roots look really good, and when the roots look good like this, I tend to leave it. I don't do too much with the roots or disturb them too much because I don't want the plant to take a long time and have to recover from any kind of root trauma. Um, I want it to continue growing and putting out new leaves and blooms and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm just clearing away some of this excess soil. The soil actually looks nice. Um, and that I don't see any pests. If there were pests and a lot of problems or root rot, I would do some, a little bit more type of TLC, but I don't think this one needs it. I'm just going to trim away some of these leaves. I went ahead and sanitized my shears. Now, as I mentioned, my Domino Peace Lily has a ton of blooms and I had read somewhere that if you let your peace lily kind of get thirsty um, before watering, like wait until you see the leaves start to droop and then water it, that that can promote blooms. So I've been doing that, not because I've been trying to, but because I'm an underwaterer. So that may be contributing. But I've also had it, and I think this is really the reason why, I've had it in good light. I've had it in bright indirect light, which I read peace lilies actually love bright indirect light. They can tolerate lower light conditions. Like all plants though, if they don't get enough light, they won't put out new growth. But if you want those beautiful blooms and you want that, those, that new growth, they enjoy bright and direct light. Now, if they're getting too much direct light, the leaves will start to brown because they'll get sunburned. Yeah, I think that'll suit just fine. Look at these roots. Don't they look great? There's not a better feeling than knowing a plant needed to be repotted and going ahead and doing it and knowing the plant is gonna be so incredibly happy in its new home. Now, the nice thing with these houseplant care videos in this houseplant care 101 series is seeing your comments and any tips and tricks that you have when you're caring for your plants and your spathophyllums and peace lilies. And uh, I do try to answer any questions 
that I see. Thanks for tagging along with me while I repotted up these beautiful peace lilies. It feels so, so good to get that done. Let me know if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and don't forget to leave your tips as well. And lastly, again, a huge thank you to repotme.com for sponsoring my House Plant to Care 101 series. I've included their website in my description below so you can take a look at their quality plant care products. And use code Ashley for 10% off any of their amazing potting soils. Now, if you're a crazy plant person as well, make sure to subscribe so my episodes will show up in your newsfeed. I go plant shopping all the time, plant care videos, all sorts of cool planty stuff. And we also have an amazing plant community on Instagram that we would love for you to be part of. All right, well, I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. You will definitely be seeing me soon. Bye.